All right, Mo, everything went wrong for you. You know, you had this, like, idea. I'm going to get back into boxing. Yeah. Boxing's going to be my thing. You know, I, um, I look at you guys as family. And whenever you have a family and you need some guidance or some direction, that's where you go to get some advice. And I blame you all because a few months ago I came in here and I said that my dude wanted me to get back into boxing. And I remember an overwhelming <laughs> go for it yeah, from what? everyone in the studio. What do you got to lose, man? You put the headgear on, you're not going to get knocked out. You're sparring. You're not like, you're not fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world. Get in there. What could go wrong, right, Bert? You what say? could go wrong, Mo? Well, I'll tell you. Um, I finally did it. I had my first day back in the gym. And I have not been in a boxing gym in over a decade. It's been a very long time. But my guy, I've always spoken to him about how it used to help me and how I felt mentally and physically when I was training, even if I wasn't fighting. Just training does a lot for you in both departments. And so he got me back in there. And we went. And I was excited until I got in the gym and realized that I never actually liked being in there. As soon, <laughs> Are you serious? As soon as I smelled it, it's yeah. like boxing gyms have a very uh -huh. distinct smell. Sweat and testosterone. That's all it is right? in there. And the moment I walked in, I knew it was a bad idea. <laughs> like, I don't know why I thought it was a great idea in that moment. And we start training. Now, he went out of his way to find this specific trainer that's supposed to be one of the best trainers and he's going to get us right and get our minds right and get us all right. And so we pick up jump ropes. That's how he wanted to start. I start jump roping. Now, I got a little excited because it started to come back to me. Mm -hmm. hey. So as I start jump roping and hitting the speed bag, which is our first two assignments, I guess I'm thinking, look, I still got it. But they're looking at me thinking, oh, this guy wants the advanced training. Oh, no. It's like he almost like did too well. Exactly that. So yeah, you should have dumbed it down. I should have. And I, I didn't even think they were watching us. I thought they the were just, I was just trying to show off for my friend. Just have the rope hit you in the face. <laughs> yes. Like pretend like you don't know how to jump rope. Trip right? on it a little bit. Yeah. Which is what he was doing. He looked horrible in the corner. Was so he I'm gaming the Like, did he know better how to jump rope or was he gaming it? My friend? Yeah. No, he just don't know what he's doing. He just sucks. <laughs> yeah, okay. he's just trash. He's never done it before. This is his first time. So I'm showing him like, oh, you look at you, rookie. And I'm like, I'm doing my thing. So the guy walks over and he's like, have you done this before? So I'm like, yeah, but many, many years ago, many long time ago. So he's like, you look like you still got some some training in you. So I said, OK, wh what does that mean? He's like, well, I, I think you guys need two different trainings. And I'm like, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think, <laughs> I think we're just fine where we are. And so he goes, well, I don't want to waste your time. If you are already at, at a point where we don't have to go over the basics with you, it would be a waste of both of our times. So he's like, let's start with some light sparring so I can judge where you are. So like you said, Bert, for those who may not be familiar, sparring is a term that that's when you actually get in the ring with someone else. You put a headset on, you put gloves on, and you do light Sparring. So <laughs> light is the key word in there. You kind of punch each other, but you're not trying to really hurt each other. Like a boop, boop, boop. Exactly. <laughs> exactly like that. Boop, Ooh, boop, boop, boop. Them, them boops was booping. <laughs> <laughs> My dude is sitting over there in the corner. He's just jump roping and hitting the speed bag. That's all they wanted out of him for an hour. That's all he asked for. They put me in the ring <laughs> and told me that they were going to go find somebody to do light sparring with. Light. Light sparring with. Boop, boop, boop. Out walks this man that is 6'4". 245. Damn. And he just looked like he didn't have the best day. Like he didn't eat. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this man's life. The lady like, just broke up with him. Yeah. He looked like he's going through something. Perfect. Tell him to hit me up. <laughs> he, I will. <laughs> I will. I get in the ring with this man and we start kind of sparring a little bit. And I think I made the mistake of hitting him a little harder than he anticipated I would hit him. You started the boop boop. I started it. Oh, no. But his boops were a lot uh. more boopier than my boops. <laughs> <laughs> that man hit me in the ribs so hard. Oh, really? No. I promise y'all, I couldn't tell if I pissed myself or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the ring. Something was running down my leg. I don't know what it was. I just, my lower body went numb. I tried to hit him back, and I broke my wrist when I was boxing years ago. So I aggravated it again. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't carry anything with my left hand for three days. My ribs still hurts. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think I'm going back. No. Okay. I, I think that was it for me. One and done, baby. One and done. One and done. But I tried it. <laughs> the Burt Show.